morning to you. I hope you slept well. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I had a uh, new guy come by yesterday. Uh, meeting went well. And I think, actually, we're going to be hiring him to be a senior service advisor, supervisor, to help make my job easier at the business. And I can focus more on turning wrenches if I need to in the shop and helping my uh, business partner turn wrenches instead of me just focusing on the administration portion of the business alone. Uh, it went well. He's a good guy, level head. He's actually a social media influencer. He's been following me for quite a while, and he said, man, I... I'd love to work with you, under you, whatever you want to call it, and just uh, get to know you and uh, work with the boss. So we're going to make it happen. He is going to be my assistant and running the company, and he already comes from a back background of wrenching, but also supervisory management stuff as well, so he, he knows what he's doing, uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, on to the next segment of the journey. I had to let one of the moderators go last night on the channel and then block him from the channel. The crazy thing about it is I gave this dude my phone number a couple months ago and I pretty much knew something was wrong right away with the guy. Um, sounds like he's a little bit older. Like he drinks quite a bit and I think he's lonely. Um, I sympathized every time I tried to get off the phone. Well, just another, I got another question, just another thing. Just one more question. And this went on for like over an hour. And I finally was like, hey man, I gotta get off of this phone. I, I, I really gotta go. And finally was able to get off the phone. But he calls me like a week later out of nowhere. I just thought I had a question for you. And then I could hear the slur and stuff in his voice like he's been drinking pretty good. Um, and then he's done it several times right before bed. He did it, uh, called me kind of drunk or whatever. I say, man, I'm climbing into bed right now with my old lady. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I can't really talk. And it's like 9, 9.30 at night, you know. So it's, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I understand, I understand. I, how, how's, and then he starts personalizing. How's, how's Jenna? How's Jenna doing? She's doing good. She's she 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 do, she doing good. And I'm like, what the heck, man? This guy's got some issues, man. I, I'm not trying to be judgmental or anything like that, but you you have the opportunity to be in somebody else's life as a friend or whatever moderator here on the channel, and this is what I'm having to go through to with people that I trust that have. You know, you never know who you're dealing with. You never know if that person's got alcohol problems or not. They're going to start a bunch of drama or whatever. But the guy sends me a message on one of my chainsaw videos or something. It says something about, uh, hey, man, you should really be, or you should really be using work boots when you're using a chainsaw and not Crocs. Everybody knows I love Crocs, man. I'm in Crocs all the time. It's just, they're comfy to me. They're slip-ons. Um... It is what it is. That's just my thing. Everybody has their thing, right? And a lot of people don't like that about me, but it's whatever. I don't care. It's, I'm not them. So they, they don't really have a say-so in the matter. And somebody else had mentioned the same thing. said something about, man, maybe you should put some steel tool toe work boots on next time or something like that. And after I've seen it a couple times, I finally acknowledged somebody. said, yeah, you're probably right. I probably should have some boots on. You know, they're right. Whatever. It's my thing. I got lazy. I didn't want to do it. It's my thing. Uh, I'll own up to that. And I said, yeah, you're right. You're probably right. But because I didn't say, yeah, you're right to my moderator that's no longer here on the channel, he got offended by that. He got offended by the fact that I responded to somebody else. And I just got busy, man. Lately, as I read comments and stuff, and I mean to respond to them and put time and effort in, into them. And I, I just freaking got busy. I just I forgot to get back to the guy or say anything to him. So I just read it. 
either liked the comment or something like that and moved on and 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 that was that was it i meant to come back and say something i try to say something to everybody if i can but i really i i can't um and he got butthurt by that and then he said a bunch of choice words in an email to me and said something about I'm just trying to help you. I don't know why you didn't respond to me, but you responded to this guy and and you gave him the time, but you whatever it was that he said and something about, you know, all we're trying to do is protect you and uh, then you, you I, I left you another comment and you responded to somebody else, but you didn't say that, whatever the heck it was. It was all about jealousy, about responding to one person and not responding to him. So I finally was like, you know what, man? I'm going to take this as a form of harassment at this point. I don't want you to contact me anymore. I don't want any more interactions between me and you anymore. I don't want any of that going on or else it would be considered a form of harassment. I'm telling you now, I don't feel comfortable basically communicating moving forward. That's it. That was the gist of it. And I removed him as a moderator, blocked him from the channel, blocked him from my call list, on my, my contacts on my phone, and then I muted his uh, emails in my email section so I don't get any new emails from the guy or anything like that. Um, it's just sad that it has, you know, that it has to go to that. The fact that this is a grown man and he has to be treated that way because he can't conduct himself appropriately because of alcohol. You know, I don't know what else to say. So if you're looking for a specific moderator sometime in the comment section to communicate with and chat with, that one moderator might not be here anymore. So the one that you're looking for, I should say, then you know why. Uh, just alcohol. Alcohol and not knowing boundaries, you know. And unfortunately, some people, they become so comfortable with somebody, they, they think that they can say and do whatever they want and demand whatever they want, and it doesn't work that way. I have no obligation to respond to anybody on here if I don't want to. I have no obligation to you. I do it because I want to. I don't do it because I have to. If I had to, I wouldn't be here. I just wouldn't do it. Okay. That's it for me. Y'all be blessed. Have a great morning. Hope y'all feel good. If not, you figure out how to feel good. Love y'all. Take care.